how to quote residential window cleaning. All right, so I wanna go through the uh, process of giving a quote to a potential client. When a potential client contacts me, whether it be off of my website, whether it be off of a, a Yelp listing, whether it be off of my, my Google My Business listing, uh, even Facebook or whatever the case is, I'm, uh, I'm in the uh, window cleaning business. And uh, how I give a quote to a potential client, whether it be for uh, exterior window cleaning or interior and exterior window cleaning. And I used to give quotes for solar panels and power washing, but now I double down on what's most profitable for for me and my business, and that's exterior window cleaning, and I also do interior window cleaning. So let's uh, go ahead and and uh, let's take you through my process of providing a quote for my window cleaning business. Okay, so when a potential client contacts me, uh, most likely through my website or sends me a text message to my mobile phone for my company phone number. They'll go ahead and ask me, uh, say, hey, Eddie, I need to get my windows cleaned or how I like to receive a quote for exterior window cleaning or interior and exterior window cleaning. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just uh, basically, I'll send them a preset message reply that I just, uh, go on my phone and I copy and paste to the text message and send them a text message asking them to please reply. I'll say something like this. Thank you for contacting such and such window cleaning. If you would like to receive a quote for window cleaning services, please reply back with your property address and I will view your property online and I will send you a text message with my quote. Alrighty, so then I'll go ahead and send them that. And then what will happen after that is they'll go ahead and uh, send me their, uh, their, you know, their name and um, their property address. So then I'll go ahead and look up their, their property address. So let's say for example, um, they provide me with this property address. Let's go ahead and act like they just sent me this property address along with their, their full name. So what I'll do is I'll go on my computer or on my phone, most likely, because I'll be on site at a job or I'll be out and about and not available to do this on my computer. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste their address and then I'll look it up online. Most properties will actually be searchable and viewable online, whether it be from Redfin, Realtor.com, Zillow.com. Alrighty, so then once you enter that property address into your search engine, you know, you'll see it and then you'll just click on it. If it's not on the first one and you still see this, the property address listed below, you want to click on the second one. And if it's not on the second one, you want to click on the third one. And if it's still available on the fourth one and so on, you want to keep clicking on that. All right, so we're going to click on this one, the first one, and let's see, verify that it's the same address that we are inquiring about. And then look how it has one of 29 pictures. All right, so I do a lot of homes inside this community already. So I already kind of have an idea of what to expect. A lot of these homes are custom. They're not like track homes, so uh, you kind of got to really, uh, you know, um, try your best to figure out how many windows and the sizes of these windows. It will help if you already know the area or the community, which uh, in most cases I'm sure you guys do because you guys actually service these areas. All right, so let's see here. This is honestly how I do it. So I'll go ahead and see that it's uh, one of 29 pictures. I'll look at it and then I'll be like, okay, so that's one, two, three uh, windows. And then I'll keep going like this. Okay, they have the garage. 
they got right here, that's a uh, four or five. And then let's see here, what happened there? Four, five, six. That looks like it's a separate window, seven, seven. And then I'll do like eight, nine. And I'm not even sure if I counted this one. I'll just add it anyways, since it's like a large home and you want to give yourself some room for error. If you actually uh, do end up servicing this property, I'll just say 10. And then you want to kind of like imagine these windows and uh, you're going to see what these windows look like closed, hopefully in other pictures. But, you know, I'll just do it like the way I was going to do it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll just say, I don't, I'm not even sure for sure. So I'll just say that's 20 window panes already. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go right here. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Alrighty, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Alrighty, let's see here, 31. Alrighty. 32, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Like, it's, I think it's safe to say that that house might have like anywhere from 50 to 60 window panes. All right, I honestly highly doubt that somebody, and this is based upon my experience with my window cleaning company and the way that I market myself and all that good stuff. This is a $4,285,000 property. These people do not care if you uh, miscount uh, 10 or 15 window panes. They are not gonna sit here and be uh, penny pinchers. And that's why you want to work for people like this. Um, when they buy a property that's, uh, you know, uh, a million and a million and a half and up, you know, and especially at four million dollars, you know, they don't really money is no object to them. Uh, they just want to get make sure it gets done the right way and that they don't deal with any nonsense. So. I'm just gonna say it's 60 window panes and plus we have the garage. Alrighty, so let's just say. Um, 60 um, and you know you could be wrong with counting those windows right there or I may have missed a room you know um, but you want to just add like 10 panes you know in most cases or, or at least five window panes just in case you make a mistake uh, you know just try to be as accurate as you possibly can and if you don't want to take that risk do an in-person quote but honestly when you're doing getting like uh, you know in, in my case you're getting like 10 quotes a day, you know, getting asked to do 10 quotes a day. Honestly, I'd rather just do them on the internet and uh, look them up online or Google Earth and uh, go ahead and just send them a quote. And I add like, just in case for error, extra window panes. And, um, you know, um, that's how I, how I do it here. So 60 times $10 a window pane equals six hundred dollars all righty for that house i would feel comfortable doing that house inside and out for 600 bucks you know you if you uh feeling if you're really busy and you want to uh you know take a chance at 650 bucks you know that would also sound reasonable too but um for what i usually charge for a house about for about that size honestly that's uh six hundred dollars and uh honestly just looking at these types of windows here you know you're gonna have to do like a lot of uh like 
pole work or ladder work. You know, you guys want to just look at that, like see the level of difficulty that you're going to be dealing with. Nice home, that's for sure. And these are the type of clients that you guys want. Just don't be over here, <laughs> just don't be over here like uh, shooting them a, an offer for like, you know, $300. Like that's like, that, uh, you guys deserve more than that. You guys, uh, you know, deserve a lot more money than that. So, you know, for this property, they're not penny pinchers, these people here. They don't, they don't want to deal with this type of uh, clients right here. They don't want to deal with nonsense. They just want to hire somebody and, you know, um, get it done. All right, so once we have a price of $600, what I would do next is go ahead and send them a text message and I'll say, uh, thank you for contacting such and such window cleaning company. And then I'll go ahead and let them know, I would like to offer to clean all your windows inside and outside. And I will go ahead and brush and vacuum. See, for me personally, I don't do, like look at this house, it has like no double hung windows. It has like, uh, it's more of a, like a modern home. It doesn't have like uh, a lot of tracks. They're all like floor to ceiling windows. So it's easier to do when you get into these homes, you know, in my opinion. It's just the size of the glass that you're gonna be, you know. And then those clear story windows that you're gonna be, uh, might have a challenge doing if you don't like to do high windows. And then I'll go ahead and let them know that um, I can offer to clean those windows for $600. And then another tip is too, because if, if you kind of feel like, uh, if you often give a lot of quotes and you don't land your quotes, that, that is also honestly, I mean, you may think it's a bad thing, but in me, with me, I only land about 30% of my uh, quotes that I actually give because I'm expensive compared to my local competitors here. You know, a lot of people would honestly do this house right here for like 200 and 250 bucks, I kid you not. Like, I, I see it all the time. Like, people will give a quote for like $250, I kid you not. You know, when I'm doing it for $600 and I'm still landing, you know, a good portion on my quotes, you know, which is 30%, that's pretty good for me. That's like my sweet spot. Um, that keeps me busy, keeps me steady. So I would say $600 So for inside and outside. But if you guys are concerned about not being able to land this job, you guys also may want to go ahead and offer them a um, exterior only window cleaning for, you know, I would say, honestly, so if you're doing the inside and outside for $600, in my case, you want to offer um, $400 just to do the exterior only. So that's usually what I do, uh, $400 for the exterior only. And if you want us to do the inside too, it'd be $600. All righty. And then um, also what you want to say along with that is like, uh, you know, people want to hire people who are in demand. If you're, you know, if you're out here, you know, got the whole month wide open, you know, people might consider that to be like, oh, wow, like, is this guy any good? Or, you know, uh, you know, he ain't really got much going on. Like, uh, what's what's his deal? Like, why isn't he busy? Thought he'd be swamped, you know? You guys always want to be perceived as somebody who, you know, uh, respected for your time. And, uh, you know, you always got something going on, you know? So I think it's very important that, you know, Usually what I do is like, okay, along with my quote, I currently do have a client that postponed their service for, you know, three days later or, you know, uh, for a certain date that you're available. You know, that's what you want to say because if you say I'm wide open, my schedule is wide open, uh, such and such, and I can be there whenever you need me to, you know, like um, don't sound desperate. You know, when you give in the quote, um, it's good to be prompt and respond when they're requesting because, you know, if you don't respond quick enough, they'll go ahead and contact the next person 
That's why it's always very important to answer your phone when they when that phone rings, answer it. Um, so keep those tips in mind there, you guys. Um, and so that's what I'll do. I'll say, okay, I have, I currently have a client that postponed their service for, you know, such and such date. I will, I, I have this available currently. And then, uh, you, honestly, usually they'll text me back like within 10, 15 minutes and they'll say, okay, uh, that's, that's fine. The price is fine. And that's honestly, that's usually, this is why you guys don't want to sell yourself short because you guys may be thinking that, oh my God, like, like the way I used to be, like, oh my God, like I'd be talking to my wife, like, am I going to be able to manage? Like it's always, it used to be a concern of mine, but now, you know, when you have enough quotes coming in, enough traffic coming your way, you know, you can be more selective. And that's why that's always like, that was always my goal to be selected to where I have enough traffic coming in to where I can be, you know, take more, you know, get paid, basically get paid what I feel I'm worth, knowing my value. And, you know, I don't want to work for everybody. You guys shouldn't, you guys shouldn't want to have, you guys should not want to work for every one. You guys shouldn't want to clean everybody's windows, you know, um, so, you know, that's why you want to keep your prices nice and high. So when you are working, you're making great money. You're comfortable being there and you're it's at the price that you want to be at and you feel comfortable being there for. And, you know, I have it too. I used to be like, am I going to land this job? Like, you know, when you need to land the job, that's you just don't try your best not to be desperate. Try not to look desperate. Um, be confident. And, uh, you know, just... You know, if you're giving at least like if you have five quotes a day, if you're giving five quotes a day, that's that's pretty good. You know, uh, usually I give 10 quotes a day, uh, give or take, sometimes eight, sometimes 13. You know, it just depends on the day. Um, but if you guys are giving five quotes a day, you know, be a little testy on uh, push the envelope a little bit, you know, at least on, uh, you know, like at least two of those like one two of them two out of the five quotes that you have you know on average if you're getting five quotes a day be push the envelope with two of those quotes for that you can you know instead of giving a, a quote at a price of like three hundred dollars like that you normally would or you feel that's like actually the price and you are comfortable accepting the job at that price you know, go ahead and push the envelope a little bit. Give yourself a raise. Say like, okay, we can do it for 320 See, that's $20 that you gave yourself a raise instead of accepting it two out of the five jobs. You know, give those three other jobs like $300 each. You know, when you're, and then push the envelope on two of those jobs, two of those quotes. And, uh, you know, say instead of 300 do 320 so then you may your if you do land it, you're gonna get an additional twenty dollars. You just gotta find your sweet spot. You know, like at a client's property that that's uh valued at four million dollars, you know, they're not gonna care about like six hundred dollars, you know. <laughs> like to them, like it ain't it's to them it's like whatever. I spend that, you know, uh, on massages every month you know what i mean like it ain't nothing to them like they don't they're not gonna like you know and possibly to us like you know i know for me i'm like 600 bucks like you know for for window cleaning like yeah i might think that way but not but i also don't have four million dollar house you know so it's a it's a huge it's a huge difference you guys you know what i mean you know, you saw the, the, the video right there, like, look at that person's kitchen and, and look at, and you look at my kitchen, you know what I mean? It's a, uh, it's, it's a huge difference, you know? So $600 for me for window cleaning is it, it, most likely won't happen. Uh, definitely won't happen, but for them, it's, it's nothing to them. So, you know, don't sell yourself short. And that's uh, my advice for you guys right there. Just display confidence, you guys. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with just, uh, you know, giving these quotes, you can look it up on, 
on Redfin, Zillow. You can look it up on Realtor.com. You can look it up on on Google Earth. Like if it's a brand new house or it may not even be available on Google Earth if it's a brand new home or new construction. Sometimes you do got to, you know, go in person to view the property. And, um, you know, if it's like a $10 million home, I'm definitely going to go ahead and uh, view that property in person, honestly, because it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's a, it's a type of clientele that wants more of a personal uh, experience that would like to meet you. Alrighty, so start your own business and grow your business. And uh, I hope this helps somebody. Thank you.